Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, Yo. Uh, this happened in Daytona Beach, Florida, of course. Okay. So it's really All right. wild. All right. So there was a woman and her husband. He was 77. She was 76. Uh, he, he was pretty ill. And then uh, he was been in the hospital. So she shot him in the hospital. <laughs> Wait, one more time. Her husband was... It was too quick. I didn't get the whole story. And I her was expecting was a nice story. Her husband is 77. Yeah. He's terminally ill in the hospital. Yes. She essentially euthanized him in the hospital by shooting him. Okay, with a gun. okay, okay, okay. So... Okay. How old was she again? 76. She was 76. He was 77. And he was terminally ill. Oh, look at her. That's what's and, up. I mean, she ended up getting arrested. Yeah. You can't discharge a firearm in a hospital. I mean, no. But, you know, she's like 70, whatever. Her. Yeah, like and it's, she she just lost her life mate, man. She what what are you gonna do? Put her in jail? I mean, I would rather lose my life mate and still be at home than lose my life mate and be in jail. Like, okay, listen, I am not gonna kill my partner who's on their deathbed to then go to jail. I mean, look, she could you know she could claim she was groggy. I, oh, I didn't take my medication. I, I accidentally brought a loaded gun to the hospital and th- accidentally groggily shot my dying husband. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, Jonas. I've never been married. I've never been in a relationship that lasted over five years in my life. I am a failure when it comes to uh to keeping a chick in my life and appeasing their emotionals. But if I were on my deathbed and I look up at my wife and I say, "Honey," I'm not going to make it. This fucking sucks. Go get that gun. Bring it here. And please kill me. If she don't do that with the love and passion, she was never my wife. I mean. That's... And if she asked the same thing of me, Jonas, I will go and I will happily. I mean, bring I think my you could Smith work out something in. a little different than like just shooting him in the head. I mean, yeah, I get you. But uh, then it's still, it's still it's still murder or something like it'd still be murder or whatever. Now, like, like granted. Now, granted, I don't want to go to jail for murder. I want to go to jail for assisted suicide, you know? So I would have them write a note or something, and I'm hoping they went through, like, you know, some sort of writing some of this down so that it was... (laughs) <laughs> it's, it's documented is that this You'll is what get your you cell phone out be like okay honey tell the camera easy easy I, my grandson but, taught me how to use the facetime that's like the uh it's like the girl who her her boyfriend was like i'm gonna put this phone book in my thing shoot me with a gun <laughs> this, is not, this is not the making a tiktok <laughs> <laughs> 76 year old woman making a tiktok i'm gonna do the shoot my husband challenge <laughs> <laughs> jesus <laughs> The shoot my husband <laughs> challenge lord yeah but uh but no man but, uh, i thought i mean it's 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 remarkably sweet and really morbid at the same time like i mean i feel it though i really do i think that's love Let i think there's go. a better way than a gun though i mean yes there's a better way than a gun yes but the sentiment is a hundred percent valid and i feel it and i don't think she should do any time Give her probation, send her ass. Home. I don't think she should do time either. Because who? Nothing. Nobody. Nobody got hurt. The man was already dead. He wanted to go. You aren't gonna do it. You You're just gonna put him on palliative care. You know what? Yeah. Essentially, hospice. She's being uh, taken to trial for taking money away from the, the hospital system. That part. <laughs> That's really what it is. They're like we, we were gonna get more money from him before yep. he died. Because any of those bills, guess where they were going. Yep. Straight to her. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's really what it is. It's like, what, what, na- I mean, yes, she has to live with that she shot him. Like you said, the guy was dying. He's not long for this world, right? Like, yeah. um, Jones, if you ask me to, to end it for you, man, I will go and get the gun. I'll bring it to you and I will put it in your hand and let you do what you want with it. Right, right, right. No, but like, and, and oddly enough, like, I, I'll take the possession charge. I am not a proponent of suicide. But I feel like part of me is a proponent of taking, like, having the choice to say it's your time. That part. Yeah. Like, if you're just like, oh, I'm 30 and I'm sad, I'm going to kill myself. No, I'm not okay with that. But, like, I'm dying. I'm miserable. I can't take care of myself. And I'd rather just not be alive anymore. I, I can say that I can stand behind something like that. I think they actually have legalized to some extent. I'm not sure of the area. It's like Switzerland is in my head, but I'm not hundred percent sure. They actually legalized the, uh, a, the assisted suicide coffins, cabins. Oh, where you just lay in it and the cubicles and, and, and 
and yeah. you, like gas or something comes yeah, in and kills it's you. Like a, it's like a certain gas. Yeah, and it's like that. it's painless and you just, you just, you know, you go peacefully. It doesn't hurt or anything. Yeah. But it's only for like, I think like termini- terminally, terminally Ill, Ill people, people right and, now. And that's, and that's the thing, man. I've always kind of joked like, cause uh, like, like if I, oh man, if I ever was terminally ill, I'd start smoking cigarettes. Cause like, what's the <laughs> point of that point? Right. Yeah. But that's kind of the same point. It's like, if you know, like if you were a hundred percent sure you I am dying, I maybe have, what do you have a year, maybe two, like what, if you're doing something to speed that process up, that should be your choice. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Cause it I mean, should be. It ain't like, it ain't like you're like, oh, I'm just going to watch myself deteriorate for the next two years till I die. Now this is this is gonna come across a little effed up, but I I do kind of wonder. I shouldn't say wonder, but I I'm thinking right now is like I wonder how many people would actually utilize it if they just made suicide perfectly legal. Like you just went to a doctor, handed him fifty bucks, and he could off you. I mean, well, he wouldn't off you, but he'd give you the tools to off yourself. I mean, give you, you like know, pills or whatever, it's yeah, arsenic pills or like whatever here, it was. Go, yeah, go off yourself, uh, and you just have like a room that you go to. You off yourself, and then they dispose of the body. You can donate it to science or whatever. Your family can come and watch. I mean, yeah, yeah, and that's what you want, man. I feel like saying every teenager ever. <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> every that's, teenager but here's the thing, ever. And I was gonna say this too. Holy like crap. terminally ill, I think is 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 automatically a qualifier. Like if they did something like that, they, they would have you would have to be able to. If you were not terminally ill and wanted to do that, you would have to go through some sort of psychiatric evaluation. Yeah, because people like there's been times I think in anyone's life, even people who weren't quote unquote suicidal, where they're just like man, this shit sucks, like, I could end it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But, like, you don't do it. The thoughts cross your mind. But just because you're having a bad spot in life doesn't mean you should go kill yourself. <laughs> like, that, exactly. that's not a qualifier. Exactly. And I, and I want to I wanna preface with what everything we're talking about with. I wouldn't, I, me, myself, I don't feel like I would ever stop fighting. Um, <laughs> whether I be terminally ill or not, no, let me, let me enjoy yeah. every last moment I get. Yeah, I think, I think, the, I think the moment where I would start thinking about it was when I, I could not take care of myself. Yes. Like, like if I'm like, okay, I'm living, but I need someone's help to do anything. I can't even just like enjoy my day by myself without being like, I need you to come help me or feed me or like whatever. Mm-hmm. Those thoughts would probably start coming then. Like if I could still get up and go to the bathroom and like, but maybe my quality of life sucked for another reason. I was mentally declining yeah. or like whatever. Yeah. Eh. And see, a lot of people say that, and I, and I honestly have to say, it's like there's still even good moments when when you're even at that point in life. You, there's still some good moments that you can experience. So okay. I just I feel like you'd be shorting yourself to say like, oh, if I ever have to go to a nursing home, or if I'm ever, you know, I can't go to the bathroom by myself, I can't turn the TV on myself, I can't, I can't talk to people ever again. There's a chance those could happen to anybody, and there's, oh, still, there's still happiness that can be found even after traumatic shit like that, man. There's people who have had their legs blown off and they've they had families oh, yeah. and stuff. I, so. think, I think another thing that would, that would probably make me start thinking that is when I got to the point where, like, I knew my mental cognitive abilities were, like, that's, super that's impaired. One. That's a strong like, one. Like, where you would be like, man, I don't know who these people are anymore. But then, yeah. like, the next day, you're like, oh, that's my son. And then, like, yeah. and then, like, being like, I know, I don't know who this person is. Yeah. Like, like, or just, like, you can't think, you can't. Yeah. Because if, you, if you're sitting around and you don't, like, don't have your brain, like, yeah. what are you? All, you're, Alzheimer's is a, is a terrible disease, man. Yeah. It's, it's an yeah, awful dementia. disease. Yeah, all that, all that stuff. Like, that would really yeah. start, like, or, 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 like, they say with people sometimes, like, they, um. They completely, when they get older, maybe they still have their memory, but like you, you start your personality changes, and you realize you're like a giant prick. They're like you're not the same. You, not not like that, but like I should be able to kill myself. No, if no, I'm no, 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 no. I don't mean that. <laughs> what I mean is like you recognize that like you're not who you want to be. Like. Out of sight of your control. Yeah. I don't think I don't you should know, be able to kill man. yourself for that. I feel but, like I feel like you scrounge into the dark for more things to kill yourself. No, I, over. no, I'm I was like, talking just a bit in general about like when I would like start thinking like, oh man, like this sucks. Like if you can't take care of yourself, you aren't the same person. I mean, yeah. and that kind of happens with dementia, and Alzheimer's too. That, people get yeah. old. I mean, look, that that's a, that's a rough one, man. So I think that people should have a clause and maybe their wills if like if it gets to that point, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, hey, anyways, that's all Wait, wait, wait. If you're experiencing any feelings that you might want to hurt yourself or you know somebody who is, please dial 988. 988. Yeah, 988. 811. Out of here. Yeah, anyways, go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep.